Let's get you the headlines. The former leader of the far-right Proud Boys group, Henry Enrique Tario, has been sentenced to 22 years in jail for his role in the U.S. Capitol riots. The Russian mercenary group Wagner is to be declared a terrorist organization by the British government. Cuba says it has uncovered a human trafficking ring aimed at boosting Russia's troop numbers for its war in Ukraine. And Cuba's accusation against Russia comes as the U.S. claims North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un plans to visit Russia this month for talks with Vladimir Putin. The pair are expected to negotiate supplying weapons to Russia for its war in Ukraine. It's not yet clear what Mr. Kim would get in exchange. As we mentioned earlier, Russia still has not commented on those reports, but the possible meeting is the latest sign that the two nations are open to a closer working relationship. The U.S. says if North Korea does supply weapons for use in Ukraine, it will pay a price in the international community. I think it says a lot that Russia is having to turn to a country like North Korea to seek to bolster its defense capacity uh, in a war that it expended, uh, expected would be over in a week, that in September of 2023, uh, it is going to North Korea to get munitions uh, to try to continue to grind out on the battlefield in Ukraine. While well, Russia is looking for extra support, Ukraine's first lady is speaking out about the impact of the protracted war beyond the battlefield. Olena Zelenska will host the summit of first ladies and gentlemen on Wednesday, which is dedicated to mental health. Dozens of countries are expected to participate, although the exact number and names of the guests are kept secret for security reasons. She spoke to the BBC's Yalda Hakim. Birmingham City Council, the largest local authority in Europe, in effect declares bankruptcy. The Spanish Football Federation appoints its first ever female coach for the women's national team after it sacked its World Cup winning coach. In more news, it's emerged that uh, three major water companies in England discharged sewage hundreds of times last year on days when it wasn't raining. And that's illegal. The practice is known as dry spilling. Now, this is what should happen when the sewage process is working normally. The wastewater flows smoothly through the system to the sewage treatment plant and stays out of rivers and the sea. If it rains very heavily or for a very long period of time, water companies are allowed to spill untreated water under certain conditions. But what is illegal is when wastewater spills straight into rivers and the sea when there is no rain, and that's when it's called a dry spill. Turning now to Afghanistan and the World Food Program is cutting off food to millions of people there due to a lack of funding. The UN agency says it has had to cut rations to an additional 2 million people this month. All told, the WFP has had to cut aid to 10 million Afghans this year. And the agency is warning of a, quote, catastrophic winter if more funds are not made available. About three quarters of the country are in need of humanitarian aid following decades of conflict and coming on the heels of the Taliban takeover in 2021. Officials in New York City will begin enforcing laws meant to limit holiday rentals in private homes. After years of relaxed rental agreements from today, the city council will be cracking down with what they call Local Law 18. Now, the change of law has angered hosts, but advocates for New York's tenants and communities are hopeful that this could help ease the city's housing shortages. The city argues that short-term rentals push up rents and hurt housing options for locals. Airbnb has said that the change will be, will be uh, bad for tourism. Now, two construction workers in northern China have been arrested for allegedly causing major damage to a section of China's iconic Great Wall. According to local authorities, the suspects admitted to using an excavator to create a shortcut going through a portion of the Ming Dynasty era part of the wall. Police say the pair caused irreversible damage to the integrity and safety of the cultural relic. Images of the damaged historical monument have sparked outrage and concern across the globe.